Hi, fifth grade. Today's math lesson is going to be over lesson 1.8, and it is over subtracting unlike fractions. So just like we were doing the other day, except we were adding the other day, today we're going to be subtracting these. So we're just gonna do a couple of examples to remind you how to do these if they don't have the same bottom number, and then you can work on your assignment. Number one here says, Amy used seven ninths yard of ribbon in her dress. Jasmine used five sixths yard of ribbon in her dress. Which girl used more ribbon? Well, to see which one used more, I first need to compare these two fractions. So let's copy them down here. Amy, I'm gonna write her name above her fraction, used seven ninths. And Jasmine, used five sixths. And we want to know who used more. Well, I'm looking at my bottom numbers and they're not the same. So first I have to get them to be the same so that I can easily tell who used more ribbon. Remember, my first step is to cross multiply. So make those circles if you need to, going both ways. Working from the bottom going up. 7 times 6 is 42. 9 times 5 is 45. And remember, after I cross multiply, then I have to multiply the two bottom ones together. So 9 times 6 is 54. I'm going to put that under both sides. 54 and 54. Now, it should be easy to tell who used more ribbon. Amy or Jasmine? Hopefully you said Jasmine because her fraction is bigger. So I'm gonna put Jasmine right here. Jasmine used more. All right, then it also asks us, how much more did she use? In order to find out how much more Jasmine used than Amy, we're going to subtract. So I'm gonna write down Jasmine's fraction first, 45 50 fourths minus Amy's fraction, 42 54ths. And I'll give you a second to try to figure that out. What would the answer be to that subtraction problem? Hopefully you got three, 45 minus 42 is three. And then remember our bottom stays the same. So it would still be 54ths. Three 54ths would be our subtraction answer. Let's try another one. Number two, it first says circle the greater fraction. Okay, so first we're comparing again, looking at those bottom numbers. Are they the same? Nope, so we're going to need to cross multiply. Draw your ovals if you need to, going both ways. Working from the bottom up, nine times four is 36. Write that up there and go the other way. Five times eight is 40. Write that up there. What do I do after I cross multiply? Hopefully you said multiply the bottom two numbers. Nine times five is 45. So we're writing that underneath each one. All right, it said circle the greater fraction. Which one of those fractions is bigger? Hopefully you said this one. So we're gonna circle the original fraction on this side. So this fraction was this one right here, 8 ninths. So you're circling that original fraction, not the fraction that you made. Alrighty, then let's read the next part of the directions. Then write and solve a subtraction problem to find the difference of the fractions. Okay, so now we're going to write a subtraction problem using our new fractions. Our bigger one always has to go first or else subtraction's not going to work. So write down your bigger fraction first, 40 40 fifths minus my other fraction that I made, 36 40 fifths. I'll give you a second to think about that. What would our answer be to that subtraction problem? Hopefully you said four because 40 minus 36 is four and our bottom number stays the same, 40 fifths. Four 40 fifths would be our answer. Alrighty, let's do a few more. These are just subtracting. So we're just subtracting these. Looking at my bottom numbers, are they the same? Nope. So what's my first step to fix it? 
cross multiply, drawing those ovals if you need to, going both ways, working from the bottom up. Five times one is five, two times one is two. What do I do after I cross multiply? Hopefully you said multiply the bottom. That would be 10, so I'm gonna put that on both sides. And remember, today they are asking me to subtract those. I'm gonna put a big subtraction sign up there. What is 5 tenths minus 2 tenths? Hopefully, you said 3 tenths. Once we fix those fractions, we can't forget they're asking us to subtract. So we fix them first, then we subtract. All right, let's try number four here. Looking at my bottom numbers, they are not the same. So what is my first step that I need to do? Cross multiply, circle those both ways if you need to make those circles. Going from the bottom up, always from the bottom up. Nine times one is nine, write it down. The other way, three times two is six, write it down. What do I do after I've cross multiplied? Multiply the bottom, that would be 27. So I'm writing that down on both sides here. All right, I've fixed my fractions, but I'm not done. What are they asking me to do with those two fractions today? Subtraction, so put a subtraction sign up there and you have to subtract them. 9 27 minus 6 27 That would be 3 27 can't forget to subtract. All right, one more. Looking at my bottom numbers, they are not the same. So my first step is to, hopefully you said cross multiply, going both ways, making my circles if I need to. Eight times four would be 32. Going the other way, seven times one would be seven. Then I do my two bottom numbers. Seven times eight is 56. Add that underneath both sides. And remember, I'm not done. I've fixed my fractions, but what are they asking me to do with those once I've fixed them today? Subtract, so put your subtraction sign up there. Ooh, think carefully. 32 minus seven. That would be 25 56. So 32 minus seven is 25. Remember, you can always work these out to the side if you need to. So I could go over here and I could stack up 32 minus seven. I can't do two minus seven, so I would take one, give one. 12 minus seven is five, and then three minus one is two. You can always work them out to the side if you can't do it in your head. Just make sure that you get the right answer. Okay, that's what you're going to be doing on your homework assignment today. Just like we did the other day, except you're subtracting. So make sure that you remember you're subtracting those once you fix them. Good luck, do your best.